Hi everybody. Um, today we're going to do a challenge and um, I want to do a repurpose an old eyeglass case. And I got lots of them in the house because I don't throw anything away. So from all the glasses I had throughout the years, every, every one of them had the, the glasses are probably around because my dog even ate, <laughs> ate a whole pair of glasses when she was a puppy. Oh boy, what a, what a thing. And she got them from my table, which she had never climbed up on a table and taken something, but this time she did. And like, I'm going crazy because I left the room with the glasses I usually read with because I think I heard the doorbell ring. So I'm running to the door and I notice that I have the wrong glasses on. And so I take them off and I would rather walk around the house without the glasses instead of wearing these ones because, you know, I get a bit dizzy with these ones. And um, so the doorbell rings. I don't know. I probably lost about five minutes of time. I get back here and I'm starting to look for my glasses and where are they and where are they and where are they and I cannot find them. I call my kids. Please come and help me look for my glasses because I kind of get a bit nervous too when I'm looking for something and I can't see it and so they came and we can't find them. We can't find them and it just kind of dawned on me. I said, you know, I better look outside and see um, look around and see what's going on and she had chewed them up in a matter of five minutes um, the the lenses were still intact the whole frame was gone but um, uh, sorry I was just looking at something um, so <laughs> my, my girlfriends are messaging me and so yeah um, I have lots of these around the house and for the sake of time, to save time, I already gessoed it and painted it white, okay? Um, I will be covering it with paper, but just because it was blue underneath, actually. You can see just a touch of it right here, the blue. And so I'm going to get started. Um, what I did before the video as well, too, is I got a few coffee filters, and I just kind of put the paint on on the tile. I sprayed some water, made it really diluted, and just started dipping them in them because I wanted um, that effect of, I didn't, I don't have sprays that are pastel colors so I, I got my paints out and did it that way as well too and I made three of them and then I stamped them already as well and I'm kind of using a music theme for this. Now this is a really nice gift you guys for a music teacher for a teacher you know you can um and i know you can buy these at the dollar store as well too because this idea you guys I, it wasn't my own idea i got it from a girl that has videos on youtube that's called debbie landon so and she shows one that she found and she did and she says on the video that she had bought in the glass case at the dollar store so if you don't wear glasses and you want to do this go ahead to the dollar store and you can probably find them there um, for a really cheap price and then repurpose them but seeing that you know I have lots of them and I'm sure you guys will probably have lots of them too if you don't use glasses you definitely use sunglasses and sunglasses are probably the first thing that you guys lose the cases are always with you but the sunglasses you lose so here we go like I said I prepared these and I was, I'm going to do it like a bit of a music theme because I have these papers as well. These were sprayed, um, a pink. And then I was going through my stuff, my Happy Mails that have come in. And I found these really cute little flowers. And I want to use these on them too. I found a little stamp, a little bird stamp that I want to use as well. And yeah, I do have a music stamp, but I'm not going to use it because I do have enough of this. You know, this paper is going to be around for a bit. So we'll get the glue out. And what happened to my brush? Oh dear, it was just here. Dottie is really excited today. There's um, probably dogs outside that my son's friends. Um, brought bring their dogs over around sometimes and the let the walk them because here we're in um, we're in the middle of you know like of a plantation so take the Dottie please be quiet 
this kind of paper is more stiff. That's why I got the coffee filters out because I wanted a softer paper to work with. And um, just set it right there. And just start ripping up pieces of this too as well. Yeah, so it could be a really cute gift. Grandma and Grandpa, you know, you can um, do them so many ways as well. Um, get your kids involved. And it's a really cute Christmas present for, you know, the grandparents that use glasses. And, you know, which almost all of our grandparents use glasses. Um, well, I don't have any more grandparents. Mine have all passed away. But um, they use them for... And just kind of randomly covering it up. You're going to have to be careful here where the hinge is. And while I was painting it, I put something in between when I closed it, when I, I painted it closed, but I put something in between so that way it wouldn't stick together. Get this all over the place here. Today it's Sunday. Um, when you guys see the video, it'll be Monday, but I'm getting it prepared, so that way, making sure that it's going to upload. The last time I had problems uploading a video, it was like they, just the, the one I did with the canvas, uh, one of them was just, was not uploading. And when I, and I found out that if I stop, stop the upload, I cancel it, and redo it again it'll start again from like it was at 40 minutes but you got about a thousand minutes I noticed that it'll go back to 40 minutes and and the time the time will you know slow down a bit it's not going to be a thousand anymore it'll probably be a hundred minutes you know and it'll go faster so yeah I kind of figured that out and, and when I see that um, a certain video is just taking too long to upload I'll, I'll do that So do you guys want to hear my menu for today? On Sundays here, it's more of a bigger, you know, menu that I'll do the pasta dish and I'll do the the meat dish. Well, the meat dish was only, you know, veal cutlets did something really fast. But the pasta dish was um, penne, which is, you know, normal macaroni with, with uh, mushrooms. Delicious. And what I did this time with the mushrooms was, with this mushroom sauce, is, um, well, I fried the onions and the, the tomato and everything, and um, then put the mushrooms in. And um, what I did at the end was, um, almost at the end of the, 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 the cooking, we have here, um, you know the fennel seeds, but we have a, a wild fennel that grows in the mountains. And we use it quite a bit here um, for seasoning, you know, so so I had that in the freezer. My son picked a whole bunch of it a few weeks back and and I freeze it so that way I have it, you know, already there because it, it is in the mountains and you can't have it whenever you want to. So what, um, what I did was I got some of that out and I put that in the sauce as well too. So it gave it that really nice um, fennel taste, which I love. I love that taste. Here they put the fennel seeds in, in um, sausage, in our Italian sausage a lot. Okay, I'm just going to let it overlap here.
I love the bright colors of this, you guys. Oh, something sticking to the... I just ripped a flower by mistake, huh? That's okay. I'll glue it to big I'll glue it um, together when uh, when I'm gluing it on here. I'm really liking these coffee filters because um, oh I I have to vet message my brother because he'll be here soon. I gotta ask him to bring me coffee filters. I was just messaging with a friend. Of, oh, not a friend actually. She's um she's an adopted cousin, let's say. Um, my uncle was um, madly in love with this woman. We're talking about the 70s, you know, and they're almost ready to get married. And unfortunately, she passes away. And she leaves it in her will that my uncle was to take care of her daughter. She had been married previously and had a daughter. So, um, and she is for the first time coming in Italy, which is so nice. She'll be here around the time my brother is here, but she's coming with friends. So they're going to be touring a little bit of Italy. And then um, when she finally gets down to Sicily, because they're going to be touring Sicily, they're probably going to Palermo. Parlemo is a beautiful city, you guys. It is gorgeous. I just saw it myself a couple of years ago. But it is beautiful. It is so old. It is so, it's, you know, it's breathtaking. And um, so my brother uh, will be here when, when she will be coming down to Sicily. And he's going to pick her up. And she's going to spend a few days here with us. So that was really nice. And I asked her. She just messaged me asking me, do you need anything? And I said, yes. Um, I need, what I do need is, I'm going to ask my brother for the coffee filters. And I didn't ask from him for this thing because, you know, he'll probably say, Joes, what are you asking me for? Those are girl things. I don't understand. Makeup brushes, makeup, makeup sponges, the triangle ones. Because here I buy a little package. They're, they're in a round form, but they're cut in, tri in wedges, right? And, um, and like they, for a little round thing, I think I get, get eight wedges and they cost me, get ready for this, three euro, three, three euro and 50 cents. That's how much they cost me here. And I know there you can buy them at the dollar store for really cheap. So I asked her to, um, to pick those up for me and she is. I did my order from Cambridge, Ontario, and my, that's getting to my brother tomorrow. And um, I think he's leaving on Thursday, so I'm so excited this week. I'm having my brother here. My nephew is coming, and uh, me and my sister are going to pick up my nephew. And we're going to leave really early in the morning because I want to go to Ikea. And I want to pick up, you know what, you guys, that thing I see you guys all have, because I think it'll probably be so useful. It's that little cart that, you know, when you're when I'm doing something, like let's say I'm doing jelly printing, I want to have, you know, all the paints beside me on the cart. And I think it'll be really useful, you know, to have, because sometimes I don't know where to put anything around here when... Um, when you're jelly printing because you got your paints you got your your textures you got your stencils you got your it takes up a bit of space i need a little piece of coffee filter and i just saw a spot that i missed so i'm just going to add it right here i'm sorry you guys that you can't but if i keep it in my hands i'm just going to end up picking up all the glue and probably ruining it so I'm going to I'll lift it up after and show you guys at what point we're at so now I'm gonna start the other side yeah I'm loving these pastel colors I'm really liking them okay and this is where like the um, the name brand is kind of engraved, which will be nice because that will be pretty much covered with the paper now. And if it shows up a bit, that's okay. More texture. Mm. 
<clears throat> just keep on adding you guys can do this with um, one big sheet of tissue paper if you want decorate the tissue first and then you know try to cut the shape of the glass case and put it on and then cut it around um, it would probably have been easier for me to do that that way as well too but I wanted various colors here and like I said I don't really have a lot of you know um, pastel spray colors so I had to kind to use my paint to do this now for a man you know you can um, take anything you can find you know stamps that have be cute you know with um re, if you have a grandfather that smokes cigars with you know um a pipe and um oh dear there's so many things that you can use um for a man let's see what else could you use for a man well make it steampunky that's for sure you can make it with you know if you have um images you know of clocks and things like that for your grandfather which would be cute as well too but definitely you know this is something really good to involve your kids in and um and the grandparents would probably love it grandparents aunts and uncles moms dads teachers teachers heck if you can buy this at the dollar store you know a glass case at the dollar store and fix it up yourself um that's a really, you know, that's a good bargain on a gift. There we go. I should have done it before I started the video and then completed the other half it's just not to make things too long you guys that's all um, oh what's gotten into her today yeah I'm sure there's probably other dogs out there that are making her agitated. Dottie, what's the matter, sweetie? Come here. Come here. Come to mommy. Yeah, so my son's party went well. He had another party with his friends on last night. And I kind of cooked a lot of things yesterday afternoon for him a couple of sweets and um, yeah they had a really nice time I was kind of a bit scared so I asked my two older sons you know go up and check up on them see what they're up to you know because they're 18 year old kids and I wasn't really all that um, how would I say it? I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to hear from my older sons, you know, that things were okay. The kids were having a good time. Um, I, I didn't want to hear that kids were drunk. That's what I didn't want to hear. Or, And I was telling my son, Valentino, I said, please just take the keys away from them if they're driving. You know, you've seen them dr you know, drink too much and they want to drive home or make them put a, put the keys in a basket when they get there so that way you're sure that you know because you're you're when you're dealing with um somebody probably that has been drinking too much i wouldn't know because i'm not a drinker i'm i'm not um you know i um do you, you really can't deal with them they're they think they're fine and um and that's not good if they, you know, you have to deal with a person that has been drinking too much. And these are kids. And um, I know a lot of the kids that were at the party, but 
there's some kids that I don't know. So I'm just a bit worried. You know what? I want to put some more pink down there. We're almost done, you guys. That way I can start drawing it with the heat gun. And um, then we can go on with what else I have to do here. It's not kind of curving good around. I'm just going to rip it a bit so that way it curls better. There we go. Best tool, fingers. Okay, I think. Oh, here's another spot. Yeah, one of my friends were telling me that um, in one of my previous videos, I gave you guys a recipe for tuna eggplant balls. And she asked, she told me I should do a cooking channel. <laughs> that was cute. I love to cook. I just wish somebody would clean all the dishes for me. That's all. <laughs> That's the part I hate. Okay, let's get here. Yeah, so we're going to have a couple of weeks of company. My nephew, my brother, my cousin. And I'm sure that <clears throat> these two weeks are just going to fly right by. Like it's you can't wait until they get here to see them. Because I haven't seen my brother. Nemo, I think it's been two years since he came. My brother Johnny came in April with his two daughters. With my two beautiful nieces. Um, I haven't seen my brother Haas since my dad died. And that was in 2010. And um, it's funny, you guys, in 2010, my dad passed away. And naturally, my three brothers came right away. We waited a couple of days for, for them to do the funeral. In fact, like I told you in other videos, our, you know, departure, our, our houses become the funeral homes. So naturally, we had my dad in the middle of our living room. And not my living room, his living room. And so we were waiting for my brothers to get here because naturally they had to. Unfortunately, uh, my younger brother, my youngest, was, you know, we knew that my dad was going to go. So he got, he had gotten his passport ready a couple of weeks prior to that. And, um, and they were planning to come. They wanted to see my dad. But unfortunately, unexpectedly, he left before, you know, we thought he was going to. So... Um, they came and <coughs> it had been let's see 2010 it had been almost 30 years since all seven of us were together again all seven of us brothers and sisters we hadn't been all together in 30 years it was it was really nice. It, unfortunately, it was under, you know, um, sad circumstances. But, um, yeah, and I don't know if it's ever going to happen again because, you know, we're, when, when families are parted like this from, you know, overseas and everything, it's kind of hard, you know, to get all together. Like, my brother's coming now. My other brother came. But that does, you know, there's all these other two missing. 
and um, I hate to say this, but the next time will probably be when my mom passes away, which I hope uh, will still be, still be for a long, long, long time. I love my mommy. Okay, I'm going to try cutting the excess here. And that's looking pretty cool, huh? See that? So, looking for a pair of scissors. Here we go. It's kind of hot. <laughs> it got pretty warmed up, huh? Okay, you guys, I'm not doing the best, best, best job. I will probably go and, you know, make sure um, that you don't see any more white spots. But then again, I'm going to start stamping it now. So some of that can obviously be covered up. Sorry, I'm off camera. I'm just cutting it away here. Now, what I'm thinking is here... Where these rough fresh edges are, I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to have to go and look for it. But I would like to put something to clean that up a bit. Um, you know those little tiny rope things that are, um, here we call them, call the Vitobino, um, mouse, mouse tail trimmings. I can do that on, on the inside to, you know, fix that up. And... Um, so yeah, I want to continue here. Let's give it another. Look down there. Okay. I'm just going to close it for now. Hopefully I'll be able to open it again. And like I said, I love these flowers. Oh, I might give this to one of my sisters. Well, since it ripped, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put one half here. It's still not completely dry, huh, you guys? It's, I, I just picked it up and it's kind of sticking here to the bottom. For me, my videos could last even three hours. That's not a problem. I can just talk and talk and talk and talk. But... Who wants to watch a three-hour video? Okay. Oops. Yeah, it's too wet. <laughs> okay, set that to the side again. Mixed media glass case. Now, I was even thinking, because so I was thinking of other ways to do it. What Debbie Landon did was, I think she probably painted it and gessoed it as well too. But she had this beautiful um, lace, I think, over it. I'm not exactly sure, but I saw that and I was going, wow, that's, you know, that's cool. Because especially when you have so many around the house as well. So let me see here if... I have to go back to the Thurgo Crafter videos and check something out because she was talking about using glycerin to, you know, um, get your ink pads going again. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was getting the wrong color. And, um, yeah, I want to look that up because I have some ink pads that aren't really that wet anymore and it's like I'm not I haven't really used them a lot huh like I I don't think I I don't think I've used them enough to say that they've dried out like this I always make sure that they're closed good hope this comes out good <laughs> well not really no you know what I should have done it in black I'm just going to put another little one here. And 
there was another stamp that I wanted to use on here, but I can't remember how it was. So the way I wanted to finish this is, okay, let's make believe that um, I would put another couple of flowers on here, right? And um, this is always not to make the video too long, you guys. And to, you know, um, and then, you know, go around the flowers naturally just as you would if you're going to be doing you know a canvas or a layout or you know whatever a, a journal page okay so let's say we're going to be doing that and then at the end of everything what i did want to do was get these little bling things here and i'm just going to show you a piece because i do have to wait for this to dry to actually and line them up on the outside here on both sides And so that way you got all this bling going all the way around, okay, or pearls or or things. Naturally, I'm going to take this off now, and when I do put it back on, I'm going to put some glue underneath just to make sure because, you know, somebody's going to be opening and closing this all, all the time. And um, so there you go. Like I said, you can do it with lace, with fabric. Think of men. Think of grandparents. Think of, think of your kids that they can have a ball here. Okay, so that's my challenge um, for this week. And tomorrow there will be another challenge up, so keep an eye out on it. Um, check, out, check us out on International Crafters. Come in and, and you know, take a look. And if you want to be part of it, we'll accept you right away and um, join in on the fun. So everybody have a nice day and a nice crafty day. Until the next time, bye.